some inspiring beats to get your Thursday morning kick started ahead of the long weekend. Keep dialing that number 0839133728 make your pledges to the j9 foundation we've got a host of celebs downstairs you can connect with them directly on the phone and make your pledges win some cool prizes as well robin borowski give me a high five Hello. hey you're in good company today <laughs> awesome <laughs> to have some it. celebs um but the big thing this weekend obviously cape town comes alive with the two oceans marathon definitely can you see me shaking can you see me shaking up it's my first ready? ultra marathon i am terrified no, to you're, be gonna, you're gonna be amazing so you've come to us with a very simple tool here but something that is going to really come to the aid of runners like myself and i say that loosely runners like myself but what are we covering today basically with the runners at the studio i see so many people come they tell me about their knees their achilles you know the itb area getting so tight and the muscles that build up of lactic acid so just want to go over some release work that you can do after the run, even though you'll be so exhausted and so excited. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I finished, but still take that time it's to that get day down. After. Yeah. Exactly, Ooh. to prevent so you don't wake up the next day so tired and sore, you know? Okay, brilliant. So it's pretty simple stuff. So we're okay. getting on our backs, yeah? All right. So we just need to mobilize and, you know, get into that lactic acid breakup. So you're going to put that TheraBand. Yeah. Just over that foot, you line back into neutral. So remember, it's also activating into that core so that the back is activating, those tummy muscles are tight. Just to loosen up those hip flexors, we're gonna take it into a down and up motion. Just to loosen up that inner thigh, oh. the hip flexors which tend to tighten up with all those strides, you know, <laughs> and the up heels. So you'll do about 10 to 15 reps of that. Once you've done that, you've got to obviously get into that hamstring and the knee joint. So you can take it into a few reps of a bend oh. and a stretch. And what I like is the, the elastic keeps the tension, but it takes a lot of the pressure off the muscles. It's not like you're doing a huge amount of work. Definitely. This, yeah. this is the relaxing part. <laughs> and of course, you can do this after any workout. And then after that, I see a lot of hips take so much strain with all these runs and the mileage on those legs. So yeah. I call this oiling up the joint. So basically uh, working right to the back of the hip girdle. So make sure to do both ways and get right to the back of that hip socket and you go all the way around. It doesn't have to be a big circle. And then once you've mobilized, you take it into a full stretch. So yeah, you flex that foot, you stretch that knee. Now it's not necessarily about height, it's more about the perfect form. Your yeah, knee must be straight, there, yeah. hip stays down, belly stays tight, hold it there for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then we take it into the good old sciatic stretch, which ah. is a good ear. So you feel this right along that sciatic nerve area, which runs right under that leg, right into that lower back. This shows you how connected your hamstrings are to your back. Absolutely, and that's your main ah. center there. And then oh, of course good. you can come back and you know get into the inner thighs, keeping the hip down, you open that leg out to the side. All the way Bearing there. in mind, I'm, I'm doing this with like a Pilates master here. So <laughs> I'd like Pressure's a little, I'd like a little applause from the, <laughs> the, the peanut gallery. Good. Okay. And then, of course, glutes. Um, oh, yeah. That's always a great one to stretch out and release. And then we'll release the back as well. I can see I'm still carrying a bit of lactic acid. I've been trying to rest this week, give myself a bit of a, a head start. Um, that's fantastic. Any watchwords, any advice for people doing um, the ultra this weekend in terms of protecting themselves and not injuring themselves? You know it's going to be tough, but yes. you want to still remain healthy after of the Of course. Fact. I mean, nutrition is a huge part of it, especially this week. But before the race, make sure to warm up. Don't obviously just get straight into it. Make sure to mobilize the muscles before. And especially, you know, listen to the body during it. And a lot of people I see stop breathing during it. I mean, they hold the breath and they get into an attention. <laughs> go into your whole... headspace, yeah. Exactly. So focus on that core breath, get into your zone and go for it. And then afterwards, release and stretch. Uh, we'll help you do that, do no that. doubt, next week. But good luck to everyone who's taking part in the two oceans. I will see you out on the road. But the main focus right now, the J9 Foundation and beating last year's record telethon. I hope you guys are on the